Hello, wonderful people of the internet. Welcome to another day of my quote-unquote vlogmas. I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm in a rush right now. I had this whole thing planned where I was gonna talk to you about what today is and how I'm excited and the backstory behind it all. However, uh, I can't do that. I gotta leave soon. I already did my makeup. I'm already dressed, but I wanted to kind of tell you what is happening tonight. Basically, my mom and I are going to go see Stevie Nicks. <sighs> I am so excited. Like, I am tripping right now because there's like three female artists, maybe four female artists in my lifetime that I love and that are like top tier for me. That is Taylor Swift, Shania Twain, and Stevie Nicks. Those are my women. They are my people. They raised me. My childhood that I had musically was because of them. They shaped me who I am today. Also, fun fact, my mom almost named me Rhiannon. How cool would that be? Look how, okay, just picture me as a Rhiannon. I would specifically cater my personality into being dark and mysterious and like, brooding kind of if my name was Rhiannon but no I'm Hannah the number one probably I don't know factually if that's correct most popular name in like 1999 everyone is named Hannah it's cool because I can spell it backwards and forwards that's at least something unique about the name but Rhiannon I actually wasn't forced to listen to Fleetwood Mac or Stevie Nicks when I was younger. I don't really know how it came about. I just started listening. Like, you know how people say their fathers raised them on classic rock? Well, my mom raised me on like 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s music. And something in me just really, really relates to Fleetwood Mac. And I just love that band so much. I love the scandal that they just created. I just love it so much. My mom and I were actually supposed to see Stevie Nicks this past March, but one of her bandmates got COVID. And so they had to kind of reschedule everything around and push it all the way to what is today. And so I'm super excited. I am, st December is just so crazy. Like ordering presents, getting the presents, wrapping the presents, doing errands, doing work, doing your hobbies. Now I'm doing the 75 Hannah challenge. It's just like, I feel like I don't have enough hours in the day to accomplish everything that I need to. So I was trying to get things done today. And then I started to get a migraine, which never really happens. I just recently have been getting migraines because of my concussions that I've had um, in the past. I've had many of concussions because of volleyball and basketball more so. Actually, I think it's about tied. Funny enough, when I was playing basketball, I was I got concussions, but I don't, I never got a concussion playing volleyball. It wasn't until I started coaching volleyball is when I got concussions. I got three concussions when just coaching volleyball. And the last one that I got was two years ago and ever since that one, I've had lingering effects because of it. Like short-term memory loss is a big one. Driving at night, the headlights are super bright. I have a lot of lingering symptoms and it really sucks, but you know, it is what it is. I had to like kind of relax for a little bit, but I also was uploading my 49ers video. So I needed to get that up. I'm dressed, my hair is somewhat curled and I'll show you the outfit, but I just want to put my lip stuff on. I'm very excited. I want her to play. Favorite song from her, obviously, is Rhiannon. I'm gonna be pissed if she doesn't play Rhiannon, but I'll still love her. Honestly, anything from her, but my number one is Rhiannon. I would love, love, uh, and dreams. I would love to see those two in person, like listen to those in person. And I really feel like I'm not gonna take that many videos, like probably my favorite songs I'll record, but I really want to be in the moment and like in the present with her because I may never really see her in a concert again. Who knows, you know? Like she's, I think 75. She's still rocking and she's still rolling, but I don't know if she's gonna be on tour again soon. Like, I don't really know how that's gonna go. So I really wanna take in every single moment and really remember it because the fact that I'm gonna be in the same room, breathing the same air as Stevie Nicks, I just, I never, ever, ever would have thought that that is happening. Also, my mom and I were discussing, we don't remember where our seats 
are. Like, we bought these tickets probably about a year ago, and then the concert didn't happen in March, and then now we're here in December. So it's like a nice little Christmas surprise to figure out where we're sitting for our seats, but I'm gonna show you the outfit. We're gonna get going. I'll video record some of the concert and then maybe discuss what the concert was like. I'm so excited, like, ugh. This is the fit that we're going with. This is what we're working with. I had to take this belt off of a skirt that I'm kind of pissed about because I bought this skirt at a, I don't know, some Southern California, Newport, influencer, clothes pop-up sale thingy. And I'm so mad because it was actually expensive, but it was so cute and satiny and it came with this little belt and everything. Tell me why the zipper in the back is busted. Didn't know that at all. And so now I literally can't wear the skirt. <laughs> This is what we're working with. I put the belt on a different skirt and then these boots. I'm obsessed with, I love them so much. And then just a basic like, I don't know, navy long sleeve shirt. And I found this, I'm pretty sure I had this in middle school, this necklace. I don't know if you can see it from this far, but it's like a little crystal heart. I don't even know, but I found it and I'm pretty sure I used to wear this in middle school. I found it in some drawer while cleaning things out. Okay, I'm gonna head out. Like I said, I'm very excited to see what is going to happen at the concert, and I will let you know after. Guys, I'm back. I'm back from the concert. My life has changed. My life has literally changed. I can say officially now that I have seen Stevie Nicks in concert. 
a lot of people can't say that also I was like one of probably the youngest people there at the concert and I love that because I was vibing out with all of these older people but I loved it so much because they were really getting into it they were dance it was like so different because the only concert that I went to this year was Taylor Swift back in August and then the Stevie Nicks one obviously tonight and just how like vastly different the crowds are is really funny just like age range wise also but it's kind of cool listening to music that people actually grew up on like I said I grew up listening to Stevie Nicks but they were like there listening to her live like I am with Taylor Swift they were live watching her when she was like younger and all that so it's kind of cool to like put that into perspective and how stoked they were seeing her live like the old people in the crowd they were so funny they were obviously so plastered they were so drunk there was one guy that actually fell to the ground because he was so like rocking his body and like going crazy and throwing his hands up in the air and was like going berserk and i love that energy but he did fall but he was very graceful in getting himself back up and laughing it off and all that but no it was such a good concert she did sing rihanna that was one of her encore songs and she did sing landslide that was another one of her encore songs and i completely forgot edge of 17 i can't believe i did that man it was such a good concert it's something that I'm going to remember forever. Literally to say that I saw Stevie Nicks in concert, I think is one of the biggest flexes. Flexes? Flex? Flex? Is one of the bigger accomplishments of my life. And I didn't even accomplish anything. I just showed up to a concert and had her accomplish things by singing. But literally just being in her presence just made me so, feel so safe. She was funny. She was telling stories. After every song, she was telling a story about that song or what she was going through during, <laughs> during that time the song was written. Hollywood in the 70s, early 70s, and like what she went through when she was feeling poor and then how she turned out to be rich and she was just like, <laughs> she had that old person sense of humor and she was just so cute. Also, I did not know how tiny this woman is. She is so short. I don't know why I never thought of how short she was. Just never even came to mind, but I saw her on stage and I was like, oh my God, how tall is she? So my mom looked it up, she's 5'1". I did not know she was that short. I'm, I'm, I want to stand next to her. I want to actually, I want to give her a big hug and like talk to her. And I really want to know everything about the 70s in LA, like that type of vibe. I bet she knows all of the secrets and all of that, you know, the rock stars and everything. But anyways, she did a nice tribute for Tom Petty also. So that was really cool to see. And then Landslide was dedicated to Christine. So it was just very emotional. She was with all of her little capes, her like little cloth cloaks things. I don't know, drape. I don't know what that, what is that called? And then she brought out her little tambourine and she was going crazy. She had a little dancing moment. She was just like vibing and feeling the music. And I just, I appreciated it. And I thought it was so adorable. She's just a legend. She's a rock star. She's so cool. And I can say that I saw Stevie Nicks. Anyways, that's really all of my vlog. I, I don't know if it was short or not. I apologize. I would have taken more videos. But I really did want to be present. Like, I took so many videos for Taylor Swift. When it came to Taylor Swift and Harry Styles, I, tr I literally took so many videos because I was so flabbergasted that I was there that I knew I was going to black out and forget everything. Stevie Nicks' presence is just so much more calming. Maybe because she's, like, older and she was a rock star and, you know, I grew up listening to her and it's just a different vibe altogether. Got to see all of the guitars that her guitarist has. There's like 10 different guitars that this guy has and it's so cool to have like a guitar tester sound check dude and so he plays it a little bit before each time he gives the guitar to the guitarist for her band. There was like a, a prompt that she reads off of. Tell me why I didn't even think the artists have prompts while they're at concerts. I've, I never ever thought that artists have that. Usually they're moving around, so you don't really stay stationary in one spot to read off of a prompt where the lyrics are. Maybe it was just her? Do other artists have prompts that they like read off of? It even said like, welcome Sacramento on the prompt. One last thing, my mom and I 
parked in the parking garage uh, for the concert. It was right across from Golden One, which is where the concert was taking place. We had to park on the roof because it was just completely packed in the parking garage. So we're walking down the stairs. There's a shirt on the ground. And my mom was like, oh, Hannah, and it's one of the Stevie Nicks merchandise shirts that they're selling. I was like, what the heck is that doing on the floor? And it was in my size. I was like, I feel bad because what if somebody comes back to get it? You know, but I ended up getting it because it was in my size. It was right in front of me. If I didn't take it, somebody else would have. So I got a free shirt that's in my trunk still. But my mom wanted to buy a shirt also, and I did see one that I liked. So we got a free shirt, and then we got two shirts. This is the shirt. Isn't that so cute? It's like a, I don't even know, like a bluish gray color. I think it's so sick. And then it has all of the little tours. I am definitely wearing this to bed tonight. I'm gonna wear this like every night. Are you kidding me? It's so soft. I love the font. Usually, you know, people don't really get really good merch when it comes to their concerts. One of them being Harry Styles. I'm not really a fan of his merch. I love the small little businesses on like Etsy. His fans make better merch than his merch team. I just wanna be a rock star. Part of me is like, you know, if I had to go back in time, I would wanna be a rock star from the 70s. But like, I'd probably be a drug addict if we're being completely honest. And I don't know if I wanna do that to myself. Can I just be a sober rock star? Is that so hard to ask for? Like, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I want to know if you are a Stevie Nicks fan, if you have a favorite song from her, or like Fleetwood Mac. If you like this video, you can follow me on my other social media platforms, and I hope to be seeing you in the next video. Bye!